Meanwhile, that recent flurry of a winter storms already causing accidents and traffic problems across the state. Southern Utah may be getting some rain and snow this weekend, too. And with that, of course, comes slick roads, slick conditions and dangerous conditions. ABC Forest Katie Corrales met with Utah Highway Patrol troopers today and reports. More than 660 crashes in Utah this December. That's according to UHP. That averages to about 50 accidents each day in the past 13 days. With this many crashes, troopers want to remind all drivers to slow down, increase following distance, and watch for emergency vehicles. Over the Thanksgiving weekend, UHP says they lost 10 trooper patrol cars, and dozens of other troopers came close to getting hit. I saw a semi coming towards me that lost control, and as this trailer went by, it didn't miss me by a whole lot, and it's a powerless feeling. Drivers in southern Utah say they're having a hard time seeing the reflective travel lanes in the rain and snow, especially when salt and dirt accumulate on the roads. Something needs to be done with them. They need to be made stronger or made durable so the cars, when they ride over them, they will last longer. On I-15 in southern Utah, UDOT says it's working to increase the width of the reflective striping on the lanes from 4 to 6 inches and add pavement markers flush to the ground so snow plows won't tear them out. But UHP wants to remind drivers that UDOT isn't at fault for all these crashes. Many drivers have been going way too fast in inclement weather. When I show my family's pictures of skin marks that go around our patrol cars and things like that, they just can't believe how close it is sometimes that, that we don't get hit. It was still snowing heavily and they were doing 80, 83 miles an hour. That's just too fast. It's too fast in the snow. I know the speed limit says 80, but it's not a challenge. Reporting in New Harmony, Katie Corrales, ABC4 News.